Converting medical scans to 3D models and augmented reality for medical education. Medical imaging has revolutionized our ability to non-invasively peer into the body and spot problems. However, interpreting such images correctly is a skilled task, requiring years of specialized training after completing medical school. Medical scans show a series of 2D images representing a cross-sectional view of the body. So identifying specific features, how different structures are interrelated, and how the image relates to the patient's body is not straightforward. While 3D medical images can sometimes be created by stacking 2D images together, this typically requires specialized computers, software, and training, making such imagery less accessible for medical education. Creating more accessible images for training purposes could greatly enhance medical education. Illustrative images that can be created quickly and cheaply would also be beneficial for clinicians. Dr. Leanne Lin and her colleagues at the University of Michigan have developed a novel method to visualize and interact with 3D images using scans from common medical imaging systems. The team's approach also includes augmented reality, where a 3D model of a specific feature can be superimposed over a live video feed of a patient's body, allowing trainees to contextualize the imaged features. Unlike previous methods, this new approach uses open source software that is readily available. Viewing the 3D models does not require specialized software, and it can even be performed using a smartphone. So how does the system work? The first step is to export the individual medical scans to a computer where they can be incorporated into 3D images. The files are in a standard format called Digital Imaging and Communications in Medicine, or DICOM, and can come from a variety of imaging modalities, including MRI and CT. Each image represents a cross-sectional slice of the body that encompasses a certain amount of tissue. For the best quality of 3D reconstruction, the slice thickness should be one millimeter or less. The images are then segmented, meaning that many features are mapped using software. Features of interest, such as individual blood vessels or bones, can be colored to make them stand out, and the images are then stitched together to form a 3D model. The resulting models can be viewed on virtually any computer or mobile device, with no need for specialized software. Augmented reality overlays of anatomical features can even be viewed using a smartphone's selfie camera. The low expense and simplicity of the approach will make it accessible to institutions with low resources, enhancing medical training for all. This technology can even be used as a visual aid for patient education during the consultation and consenting process, allowing patients to feel more ownership over their disease processes. Thank you.